It's time to recognize our Volunteer of the Month, brought to you by Workforce Resources Staffing Company in West Hazleton. With temporary to permanent jobs, seasonal and temporary placements, you must apply in person. And now here's this month's Volunteer. I'm very pleased to announce that our Community NEPA Volunteer of the Month for this month is Scott Klesch of Drums. Scott joins me now. Scott, many people know you because you are a very successful businessman in the area with Klesch Plumbing and Heating. You're always running around helping people in that respect, but you, I said, I don't even know where you get the time. You coach so many different teams and even run your own special event. Where do you get the time for all this? It's not easy, but when you see the satisfactions on the kids' faces when, you, when you're coaching and teaching them the game the right way to have a good time and, and winning and losing ain't always everything, that's one thing I stress. So let's talk about the different coaching uh, opportunities that you have. First of all, Valley West Little League, a uh, very successful year this past year, so you were one of the coaches uh, as one of the teams in Valley West Little League. I wasn't really at that level. I'm at the, the lower level yet because my son's only four. But uh, I'm the T-ball coordinator there at, at Valley West, and I've been for, for 10 years, I've been involved in T-ball, which I only had kids there for four, maybe. I like to give the kids their first start, but obviously now I have a son there that's four, so I will move up the ladder with him. But Valley West Little League did a great job this year. They, 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 every, every group, every level did very good. And then you're also doing softball for various leagues. Yeah, I coach at Valley Regional. Um, my daughter's 10U softball team and my older daughter's 12U softball team. And now I'm just going to start. Uh, tonight would be our first practice at, for a travel ball. I, I love coaching girls. They're, it's, it's a whole different level of, of attitude. Uh, they all stick together. So now, do you have a sports background yourself, or what made you get involved with this? I played softball for like 20 years. Uh, I played for a very good team, Jake's Cafe in, in Freeland. Um, we did a lot of traveling. Um, I know the game. and. Um, I just like to pass it on to other kids in that way. And it's not only that I played my whole entire life. I, I feel that I can get this across to children that this is how we do things and do it the right way without screaming, yelling, or, or, or doing anything to affect their lives in any way. And As we were talking about various things now, I know you're involved in the Cunningham Valley Civic Organization on the board as well. But you told me about an event that you've been running for 18 years, raising an awful lot of money. So tell us about that. Yeah, this will be our 18th year for the, the six-pack run in Nuremberg. Uh, I grew up in Nuremberg, a small town, and it's a three-and-a-half-mile course. Um, you need six people on your team. You carry, the, you carry the carbonated drink with you on your back, and you have your people stand out there waiting. It's a relay race with six, six packs, six people. It kind of people ask me, like, how many people on a team? Well, you can figure it out right in the, right in the, right in the letter that it's a six-pack run. And, uh, We've raised a lot of money over the years for, we pick one or two, this year we're gonna do it for two people um, because we have two events, two people that are sick that had, had contacted me. But um, last year we did it for a young boy and we, did, we had it in uh, Sugarloaf and it was our best year we ever had, it was over $22,000 we gave them. Come witnesses, it's August 26th at the North Union, it's called the North Union Township Park in Nuremberg, uh, two o'clock and if you wanna run, bring six people. We wanna end with, what would you say to our viewers out there to inspire them to be a Scott Clash, to get involved? Well, it, it's hard. You've got to dedicate a lot of time, but just, just go out and try as hard as you can. And, and when you coach, and I tell a lot of people this story, you stand there at the fence and the girls, are, the girls or boys are behind you, and you listen to the conversation they're having at the end of the season that, that who's covering this space, who's playing this. It, it's a satisfaction to yourself that they're getting the job done without you. You taught them what they need to know. Now it's up to them to play and just get involved. You won't, you, you can't take this back. You never can take your children back, your, your nieces back. You, you never can take it back if you don't get out and do it. And I, I stress that everybody helps out and it shows in Valley West. Congratulations on everything you do to help out the community. I hope you've inspired others. And if you know somebody like Scott Klesch, Email me at lisa at ssptv.com and maybe they will be our next Volunteer of the Month.